Hello all, welcome to Microsoft Fabric Playlist. In this video, we are going to discuss about how we can create a shortcut for ADLS Gen2 account inside the Microsoft Fabric Lakehouse. So please watch my previous videos where I have explained what is Lakehouse, how to create one, what is shortcut and everything. And uh, if you don't know what is shortcut, uh, think like it's a reference point for some external storage location or for some external storage data. Uh, this video particularly, I wanted to show you how to create a shortcut for the ADLS Gen2 account. So to explain that, let's go to the browser. This is our Azure portal. And here I have a storage account called ADLS Gen2 C Shake. And inside this storage account, uh, let me go inside the storage account and there is some location under containers uh, that location I want to refer in the lake house inside the Microsoft fabric via shortcut. So there is a container called sample container inside this there is a folder called sales project. So to sample container and sales project I want to create a reference point uh, that means I want to create a shortcut from the Microsoft fabric. So let's try to do that. So this is our fabric. And you see right now I am inside a workspace called Mahir Demo Workspace. That is my workspace name. And inside the workspace I have a notebook, I have a pipeline and I have a lake house also. So inside this lake house I wanted to create a shortcut for the ADLS Gen2 account. So what I am going to do now, I will click this lake house to open the lake house. And once our lake house loads, we have to go to this files menu. And here you see there is the three dots here. So we have to click that to get the options and we have to select the create new shortcut. This you know that from my past videos as well. So click that, select this new shortcut, click that. The moment you select it, now I said I wanted to create for the ADLS Gen2, right? So ADLS Gen2 is an external source, okay? So you see there is a connector for it. So using this connector, I have to create it. In our previous videos, we created a shortcut within the one leg that time we clicked here but this time we are going to click this connector and create a shortcut for the data which is available in the gen2 storage so let's click that let's select that particular connector and once you select that here it will ask us to fill some details we have to fill that so firstly we have to fill the url of our storage account and if you can closely observe the URL should have this dfs.core.windows.net. So we need to use that. Okay. So let's type the URL https then slash slash. Then we have to use our storage account name ADLS Gen2 C Shake dot DFS dot Windows dot core dot net. Right. So that's that's the uh, URL we have to use. Then the sign in method I can take the account key for now you can use different sign in methods here you can use the SAS token service principle etc so let's use account key and provide account key here so to take the account key uh, if I go back to my storage account in the Azure portal I can navigate to the access keys and here I can click this show and copy this account key come back to my Microsoft fabric and paste that account key and simply hit that next button to create the connection for that external storage. Okay, so I think we have typed this URL incorrectly. Uh, it should be, I think like this HTTPS. Okay, better let's try to copy this. Uh, I might have entered something wrong. So to copy that URL, right, what I do, uh, I can go here and I can go to something called endpoints in my storage account. And from here, we can copy that information. So what I can do here is if I scroll down, there should be a primary endpoint for the storage account. Let me copy this. Okay. Now, if I go back and I can paste that information here, you see ADLS Gen2 C Shake dot DFS dot core dot Windows dot net. Now this looks good. So let's try to select account key. Okay. And now let's try to use the account key from the storage account. So if I go back, go back to the access keys, then try to copy this access key from here and then paste the account key here. So uh, now uh, we can see that there is like a, a next button to click here. Okay. 
so we have to click that next button i hope you guys can able to see that right let me zoom that because it might be hidden you see there so we have to click that next button here so let me click that so i click that next button uh, now the account creation is in progress the connection creation is now it is asking me to give a shortcut name so i want to name it like adls gen 2 c shake uh, sales project so that's the shortcut name i want to give and here i have to provide the path so i have to give the container name then the subfolder name so my container name is sample container so inside the sample container it's a sales project so sales project so if i go back to my storage account i can confirm that i can go to the containers and in the containers there should be a container called sample container and if i go inside the sample container i should see uh, there is a folder called sales project so inside that folder i have customers products sales all these things will start start appearing to me once i create the shortcut so i go back to my are coming these three folders are coming actually from the storage account only if you see the same location where we are we have the same three folders here as well the same thing data is coming inside the microsoft fabric also via that shortcut okay so this is how we can create a shortcut for the adls gen2 account via the external connector in the lake house in the microsoft fabric account i hope you enjoyed this video if you like this video considering hit the like button and subscribing to the channel thank you for watching have a nice day